The Boeing A-160 Hummingbird is an unmanned aerial vehicle helicopter. In May 2004, the company was acquired by Boeing and became integrated into Boeing Phantom Works, and then into the Advanced Systems Group of Boeing Integrated Defense Systems. The A-160 continued with developmental flight tests in 2010, but test flights had already demonstrated greater endurance, higher altitudes, more extensive autonomy, and greater payload. The program had ambitious goals of a 2,500-mile range, 24-hour endurance, and 30,000 feet altitude. Flights were largely autonomous, with the aircraft making its own decisions about how to fly itself so as to meet certain objectives, rather than relying on real-time human control. The A-160 achieved maximum speeds of over 140 knots, though endurance and altitude were its goals, not speed. During the initial development of the A-160 airframe and rotor system in 1999-2000, Frontier Systems simultaneously designed the Maverick, vertical takeoff and landing UAV as a testbed for avionics, software and flight control systems. The Maverick program began in 1998, with the first flight taking place less than a year later in 1999. Since much of the software and avionics systems were shared between Maverick and A-160, Maverick remained in service long after A-160 began flight operations. After acquiring Frontier Systems in 2004, Boeing halted most development of Maverick but it continued flying as a training asset, and for reducing risk in technology development for the A-160. The development program for the A-160 began when DARPA awarded a 30-month, technology demonstration contract to San Diego-based Frontier Systems in March 1998, owned by UAV pioneer Abe Karam. In June 1999, Frontier tested the autonomous flight control system with the Maverick A, a modified Robinson R-22. This testbed was lost during a crash in 2000, after having flown for 215 hours. The first prototype, a three-blade A-160, demonstrated a brief hover on December 7, 2001 and performed its first forward flight on January 29, 2002. A four-blade version of the A-160 flew in November 2002, using a Subaru four-cylinder engine, and later a six-cylinder piston engine. The Hummingbird made its first flight in January 2002, using a four-cylinder Subaru engine. On September 20, 2004, the Hummingbird made its first flight since Boeing took over the program the previous May. The test program operated from the Southern California Logistics Airport near Victorville, California. In August 2005, the Hummingbird was flown around Victorville in a 1,200-mile course at 60 knots and 4,000 feet, one of the longest helicopter flights ever. The mechanical failure caused the helicopter to crash near the end of the flight and flight testing continued some months later after the crash investigation was concluded. On November 30, 2005, the aircraft successfully completed its first flight with a new 290kW six-cylinder gasoline-powered piston engine, hovering about the airfield for about half an hour. This latter flight used up less than 60% of the Hummingbird's maximum fuel load. On December 10, 2007, one of the A-160T prototypes crashed during a flight test at Boeing Advanced Systems Test Facility in Victorville. A Boeing investigation determined the incident was caused, when sensor data stopped being updated to the flight computer. With the feedback loop for the control system effectively cut, the helicopter departed controlled flight and impacted the ground at a near vertical angle. Much of the forensic evidence was burned in the post-crash fire. A number of potential areas that could have caused the software feedback update thread to stop were found, and those known problem areas were addressed and flight testing resumed on March 26, 2008. It then surpassed the milestone during the same flight by repeating the Hogue at 20,000 feet altitude. A week later, starting the night of May 14, the A-160T demonstrated its unrefueled endurance capabilities, with an 18.7-hour flight, landing with over 90 minutes of fuel still on board. This was recognized as the longest unrefueled flight of any rotorcraft, and the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, awarded Boeing the official endurance record in the 500 kg to 2,500 kg autonomously controlled UAV class for the flight. Earlier, in May 2004, the U.S. Army Communications Electronics Command awarded Syracuse Research Corp. a $13.3 million contract for the ultra-high-frequency, foliage-penetrating, real-time moving target indicator, synthetic aperture radar for use in the A-160. In August 2008, the A-160T began flight testing what came to be known as the DARPA Forester Radar System. Cayman received a similar contract worth $46 million. Navarre issued a stop work order on the A-160 in December 2011, before a quick reaction assessment. In August 2010, 
The A-160T underwent jungle test flights in Belize for the U.S. Special Operations Command. The stop work order left the A-160 still officially developmental.